What is up, my fellow achievements? Today, I'm here to bring all of you the weekly anime review of Food War Season 2, Episode 8, if I am correct. So, we get a new character introduction at the end of this episode, and it is Alice's mother. I gotta say, like, the new character introduction, Alice's mother, oh my. Oh my, I, I like her personality, obviously I like her design and looks, and then the way she was acting to Soma at the end of the episode, yo, 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 just the, the character introduction of Alice's mother, badass, I, I cannot wait to see more scenes from her in the future of this series, just to see the way she acted in this episode, it made me entertained. So, getting off of that subject, let's talk about the main beef, or the meat of this episode, and that would be Soma trying to figure out what he wants to cook and how he can compare against the two other people he's going up against, Hayama and Kurokiba. And as we know, Kurokiba and Hayama, they have a little bit more knowledge when it comes to how they cook, or you know, how they can detect certain qualities and ingredients, for instance, fish, the main uh, ingredient that everybody's going to be cooking in his upcoming match. And... Automatically, we instantly see that Soma, he's at a disadvantage. He doesn't know how to really select a good fish and make it a top quality ingredient and compare it to these two that automatically can detect it and get it on the day when they need to do the match. So Soma, he has to figure out, okay, how can I compete with these two when I don't have as good of a knowledge to selecting the best ingredients when it comes to this type of fish? So he has to go out of his way to figure out different methods of how he can compare, and eventually he turns to aging. Now, this is something I've actually seen done before and I've actually I've, I've read into this a long time ago I know there's some parts in other countries I don't remember the name of the fish or whatever but I remember there's a fish somewhere in another country to where it's put in like this barrel and then it's like you know marinated in the sun for like an entire year or whatever and then they take it out and then they eat it and they use it for some type of food it's like a delicacy in some countries I don't remember what the name of it was called but I've heard about the process like age processing technique and stuff like that and I thought something similar to that that might have happened in this episode, but it did not happen like that. But still, to see that, you know, aging was one of the big methods that Soma was using, I was like, I know some things about this, because, I mean, my family, we actually use some form of aging processes when we're, like, doing some form of fish. Like, my dad, he loves fishing all the time. When I was young, he used to always, you know, go out fishing in Florida, catch some fish, he'd bring it home, he would eat some, you know, bass and stuff like that, and then sometimes he would age it and all that in a certain way, and then we would eat it later down the road, maybe, like, a week later or something. He had different techniques about it. So just thinking about it like this, I really love how this episode I could really relate with, and I wanted to bet if you've ever ate some form of, you know, fish dishes, or if you've ever cooked fish dishes, and if you've ever had, like, aged fish, you can relate with this episode, and, like, Soma struggles to figure out how he can overcome these two and make the, the fish that he has to cook taste just as good as fresh fish that are at their pinnacle, at their peak of greatness. So I like the direction that this episode took, and once again, showcasing how Soma constantly has to over overcome the impossible odds laid out before him and overcome people that have more knowledge than him when it comes to these certain fields of foods. So seeing this, this is a very great step for Soma to be able to overcome these challenges and also take steps into learning how to judge ingredients a lot better than he was in the past. And I feel like this will add some very good development for him as a chef if he can now judge ingredients a lot better than he could in this episode and previously. So I can't wait to see him improve on that, you know, entire topic. So besides that, let's talk about some other things in this episode. There were some very cute moments and interactions between all the characters, and I really like how all the main cast of characters had to pitch in to help Soma. It was like a very good group project. The entire dormitory had to work together to overcome the challenge and make, you know, Soma being able to pass. And I like that direction, too, that this episode took, just showcasing how everybody was coming together, putting their techniques on the table, and allowing Soma to showcase that you can't do everything by yourself. I like to see how everybody was pitching in trying to help help him out and that let him get more knowledge. So Soma taking good steps also to learning from others and using these techniques most likely in the future to overcome difficult situations that might come his way. Just seeing 
Nikami actually have that moment with Soma and you just see how she's all blushing and getting excited and stuff and she's just happy that Soma's coming to ask her for help. It was such an adorable scene and then when Soma brings everybody together in the same room and you know you could see off on the side she's a little bit upset because she actually got the wrong vibes and thought that Soma was trying to ask her out or something. It was just it was very funny to see that scene even though like I said Nikumi is not my favorite female character because like I said I like Megami and I like Alice. I still like that entire interaction which is too adorable too great and I wish we could get more of that now there was another scene in this episode that I just didn't expect the Roko fan service oh my like we knew she had you know a chest and stuff and all that we, just to see the fan service that Food Wars gave us this week I didn't expect that I didn't expect to see that fan service of Roko the way you know everything was. I'm like, damn! It, it, and it was so quick, too. Like, it was literally maybe about, oh, 10 seconds at the maximum. Like, it was so quick, and it was just like, you didn't expect it all. You didn't even see it coming. All of a sudden, you just saw this fan service on the screen, like, holy shit. And, I mean, you're like, damn, you just, like, you got this hidden, you know, best girl behind the scenes besides Megami and all that. You have this hidden best girl, Roko, just, you know, having fan service. I'm like, okay, okay. Anyways, episode overall of Food Wars. Very good setup. I was actually quite shocked that... All of the setup for the upcoming match got handled in one episode. I'm really surprised about that. I expected this, you know, setup for Soma to figure out where he wanted to take his dish and how he wanted to cook to last maybe two to three episodes, but apparently everything was settled in one episode. You had it to where Soma was able to overcome, like, his challenges of how he could compare it to their dishes. He figured out what he wanted to cook. And then also, we had all the judges introduced to us with a new character introduction at the end of the episode. So, I mean, with all of this, I was just really shocked to see how the, the pacing of this episode was done. I expected it to last, like I said, two to three episodes. But to see it only last one episode, I'm like, damn, we're just diving straight headfirst into the entire match. So, I mean, it's going to be rather intense final episodes of food wars so yeah you all have a wonderful day or nights wherever you live please be safe she be on